Hello, everybody. It is Margo, Texas Gal Treasures, and welcome to my channel. Today, I am opening another jewelry jar. So, I opened a jar yesterday, and I don't normally do them back to back because I like to spread them out. But, and I'm going to have to take the bracelets off because that's going to drive me crazy. Okay, the bracelets are coming off. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't normally do the jars back to back, but. Because I bought three yesterday at Goodwill, I wanted to go ahead and open up another one. Is that an excuse? I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I thought I would go ahead and come on and do one of the other ones because I did spend significantly more than I normally do for jewelry jars. And thank you so much. Yeah, I got the hairs cut today and I tried to do something with it. I feel like it ages me though. I like uh, a little bit older, but anyway, whatever. But thank you guys. I was trying to make it work. Yeah, you thought I would go live after Nick. I was waiting. I was waiting for Nick to end. This is true. So hello. If you are new here, my name is Margaret. This is my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I am a stay-at-home mom who homeschools, resells on eBay, Etsy, and I make shirts and things for merch by Amazon. Amongst other things, my passion, one of my passions is jewelry. And so we're going to open a jar. I also have, if you caught yesterday's jar, <laughs> you remember like the ball of chains that were really, really tangled up. And I meant to post a picture of everything once I finally detangled them all. Um, but I didn't <laughs> because I just life but I have them here so I'm going to show those to get it uh, started so if you again if you're new here I would love to have you subscribe and yeah I get scatterbrained and talk to people in the chat and talk to myself and things like that but I would love to have you join and I like to we started calling it the tribe so if you would like to join our tribe go down there and hit subscribe and yeah here we go okay so these are the chains that were all tangled up from yesterday I will show them to you first I just realized I'm wearing a sleeveless shirt and I really hope I shaved my armpits. So no judgment, right? <laughs> so this is the first one. Um, let's just put it all out there, right? So there's that. And this is just like a plastic bit. Let me just check. I'm just going to be nervous. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there's this. Just a plastic bit. It's kind of cool looking. Um, and then it's on just this, a gold tone chain. There was only... Let's see, one that was in that knotted mess that was silver, and then another one from earlier was silver. None of them were gold, which I was hoping. But the one from yesterday that had the little solitaire, that one ended up being 14 karat gold. The solitaire was not. I didn't think it was a diamond, but one can always hope. <laughs> okay, then we've got this little cross that was in there with the chain. Again, just silver tone. Um, oh, let me let me say hey in the chat too, because I'll get busy and then I'll just forget everything. Um, hey, Yellow Rose reseller, and that's Jamie. And I wanted to thank you so much. She sent me um, some money via P PayPal yesterday because uh, she was saying that it would help me pay to get all those movies digitized. And I just wanted to thank her for that. That meant a lot. Um, hello, Rebecca. Hello, Rihanna. Rihanna. Okay. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Steve Green. How's it going? Hey, Amy. Hello, little corner of Georgia and Diane. Hello, Deffer Cat and Debbie. Thank you. Hey, Brandy and Nini and Forever Lose On. Hi, Esme and Delinda. And hi, Nikki. Thanks. Hey, Cheryl. And oh boy. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh, hey, Dan. How's it going? I'm sorry. I think I caught everybody. Did I get Cheryl? Okay, okay, okay. So let's continue on. Next, there was this little chain that had a teeny little cross. Re, okay. Rye, like rye of the bread, or re. Is it you, you go either way, Rihanna or Rihanna? Rihanna. Okay, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there's that one, and again, it's just a silver, um, silver tone. You can see it's magnetic. There we go. Um, am I a secret movie star? I wish. <laughs> I'm channeling, if you follow me on Instagram, and also I did a video with her. Um, her there's a lady named Brittany, and she has a website blog, and she's on Instagram. Her, um, her, her uh, website is called Vavoom, Va Vavoom Vintage, and also her um, Instagram. And so she is like, like oh, she's so... She's so good with her vintage hairstyles and her clothes and stuff. So, yeah. So this one... 
was silver. And then, okay, I'm trying to focus you guys. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> okay, so then we, this was one of the ones that I really thought I liked. I thought it was gonna be part of a charm bracelet, but it's got this heart and then it has two little silhouettes, a boy and a girl. They're not silver, but I still think they're cute enough to sell. I, I really like them. I think they're adorable. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And let's see, there was another one. This one had a little pearl, a heart, and a key. I think they're just sweet. Hey, Lydia. Were you, you weren't here yesterday when I was singing, Lydia, were you? <laughs> okay, then we've got another one. I don't think you were. Another little cross on a chain. These were the ones that were tangled up yesterday if you're if you're coming in just now. So hi, hi, hi. And then this was one. It looks like it's missing the stone that was in the center. It doesn't open up or anything. And here's the Rhonda one. I kept telling y'all there's one that says Rhonda in here. So <laughs> uh oh, you can't really read that, can you? Rhonda. See? Rhonda, Rhonda. I won't sing that for her because I'm sure she, she hears it all the time, right? Okay, then this was in that knot as well. There was a ton all knotted up in there. I think it's pretty. It's cute. Again, oh, did you? Oh, darn. <laughs> it's towards the end. There was a lot of singing and a lot of watching me try to detangle stuff. <laughs> all right, these ones decided to tangle up again. Now, the chain on this one is silver. So this little heart, its chain is silver. But then this one, oh, you are really not. Okay, then we've got this one that was in there, little chain. I was hoping, you know when you see those knots of chains that you're going to pull something out, right? And then there was this gold tone. You like the heart? Cool, cool. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you <laughs> for the haircut compliments. I was just like, okay, we I took the boys in this morning to get haircuts. I was like, let's just do this. Because I, as you may have noticed, I've been pulling it back more and more and more. And I'm just like, blah. I just feel like, blah. Okay, so I just did it. I cut it. All right. Okay, so I bought three jars yesterday. And they were a lot. They were $60 each. And you know my rule is that you've got to be able to um, find something in the jar that you think you'll make your money back on. Yesterday's jar, no problem. Okay, because here I have it here handy. Um, the two main winners from yesterday's jar was this. Is, this is a silver ring with wood, so it's inlaid wood. So this one will probably go up. I'll probably put it up for around 60 bucks. So that would cover, well, that would cover one jar. <laughs> but remember these earrings? How could you how could you forget <laughs> these ones? Okay, so there were a couple people share, and these are Yaska brand. And I joked, I was like, oh, they look like um a couture or something, because they were really heavy and they were something that Penelope, right? Oh, they actually go this off a dollar. Oh, Penelope von Schnitzelwitzel would wear. Oh, oh. Um, and anyway, then somebody shared. That these earrings are up on Etsy. Somebody's selling these exact ones for 145 bucks, you guys. Okay, so my Penelope von Schnitzelwitzel earrings, which I was gonna keep and play with, but I don't keep and play with 145 bucks um, <laughs> if they would sell for that. I don't know. Uh, but we talked about if you missed yesterday's, you gotta go back and watch because we decided that Penelope was a secret agent and these were one of her weapons and she would like at the ball or wherever, like spin her head, and this would be like a shot put. And she could like get some momentum behind him and then like fly, it flies off and like knocks the bad guy out. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to my jewelry jar unboxing. If you're new, trust me, you could subscribe for free and get all this comedy or embarrassment, whatever you wanna call it, <laughs> would the wooden ring be vintage? I've wondered. If, um, possibly. It's Mark nine two five. It looks like it. I mean, there's a chance. It's definitely got that mid century look to it, doesn't it? Um. Okay. So, what did I see in this jar that I thought might make my money back? Okay. Well, let's just get started and see if I can remember. Okay. So okay. So there is a nice pin over here. Doesn't have any stones missing. It looks nice with this, um, I thought that's the treble clef, right? 
And then there's another ring in there, if you can see, that looks like it's got this white inlay. It looks pretty interesting and in really good shape. And it looks like a similar kind of make as the wooden ring. So there's that. And then on the top, there's this like medallion. Look at this like wooden medallion thing. I thought that was pretty cool. They look like lily pads, right? Aren't they fun? <laughs> um, okay, so here we go. Penelope has good to, yes, she does. Go Penelope. Okay, here we go. So I'm cutting into this. I'm hopefully don't cut anything. Okay. Well, and also, if you missed yesterday's, when I was looking, a guy was checking out, and he had just bought a James Avery necklace. And yes, he had to make a point of saying, as he was checking out, yes, I'll pay $3.99 for this James Avery necla or necklace to the girl. Like, yes, I hear you. No, I was, I was very excited for him, though. He got there moments before I did, and I would have gotten it. Yeah. <laughs> and I did go back today because I'm sick like that. Um, so I did. I went back today, and the, the lady called, the girl at the counter called to the back to ask if they were going to be putting together any more jars. And the woman in the back says, we won't be doing them for a while. Like, Darn it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so here we go. Are we ready? Plus, you know, when you find jars like this, oh, this is another one. There was an earring in this one that I thought that I saw the mate to in the other jar. And so I uh, wanted to make sure. <laughs> I wanted to get both because because that happens, right? That happens. Um, what do you do if the item you want to list? What do you do if the item you want to list and you're pretty sure it's vintage, but can't find anywhere in searches? Um, I usually go with my my gut on that, like on Etsy, because it has to be vintage. Usually, I'll go with you know, because I mean, at least I have the best intentions. Because sometimes you can't know for sure, and um, vintage is like 1999 now or something. That's right, 1997, 98. Oh gosh. Okay. First up. So this is the. This is really cool, actually. All right. So this was the thing that was in the top. It's wooden. So this piece is wooden, and it's set into this pendant with all of this bling on it, and it's not missing any stones, from what I can tell. It's got everything in there. I think that's really unusual. I mean, I could see this probably selling for 15, 20 bucks. And again, I'm just throwing the numbers out there. If you think I'm nuts, or if you think I'm too low, just say, hey, crazy, there's no way. And I'll say, hey, you may be right. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, if I find earrings, I'm just gonna set them up here. This was the earring that I saw in the jar that I think was in the other jar. And the reason I got it, too, was because I could see this name on the back, and the name is Alexis Bitter or Bitar, Alexis, spelled Alexis, and then Bit Bitar, B I T T A R, which is a costume jewelry maker, I believe, but I've never heard of them. But I thought, you know what? Uh, just like that other one, I never heard of that ended up being worth 145 bucks. Thanks, Lucy. So if you got Google handy open, here, Google that one for me. Alexis Bitar, if you can see it. Because, I mean, it's really cool looking. It's like this brushed sort of dome earring, right? Oh, you love her stuff? Oh, cool, cool. Okay, because I don't know. That's a new one for me. And so I was like, okay, there we go. Okay, um, earring, earring. And I think the mate for this one is in the other jar. Unless I miss... Unless I just kept turning the jar and I just saw the same earring, which is completely likely. Oh, I think Alex Bittar sold at Nordstrom. Cool. Okay, that's cute. Okay, I'm going to put these up here if they don't have mates, as I've been saying. Okay, that's a necklace. I can share that. So here we've got this little seed bead necklace with these little tiny crystally amethyst looking pieces there. That's cute. Looks like 95 and up, woo, okay. Sweet, hopefully we find the other one because I can take care of a jar. <laughs> oh gee, thanks Jackie. <laughs> I was a little nervous. And I think the lady at the that cut my hair, she did what I said, but I think she felt sorry for me because I don't think she liked it personally. Because <laughs> I, I curled it when I got home. It was, it was super straight. Anyway, whatever. Okay, so this one, if it uh, for now it's gonna go in the 
the junk file that I'm gonna let my son go through. Um, okay, oh, thanks, thanks. Okay, next up, oh, this is nice. Oh, somebody's gonna love this. So here is the clasp for this one. Very tribal looking. So it's got all of these beads and then these barrel pieces. And then it comes down to this Y like that. Oh, somebody's gonna love this. It is so not my style, but I can really see somebody enjoying that. I would probably sell this around $30 at least because it's really cool and unique looking. You know what I mean? Look at that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We're doing all right because if the mate for this is there, then we're doing good. It's, oh, good. Thanks. <laughs> all right. Next, next. This is, oh, here's a necklace up here. We got one. All right. Then... This one has a tag, and oh, that says Express. So this will probably go in the junk pile for my son to, to pillage, even though it could probably sell. It's okay. Then, uh oh, what's that? Something fell in my lap. It was an earring. Okay, you go up there. Then we have, this is a cute little necklace with stones. Alexis Bitar ice earrings, $55 on Etsy. Oh, sweet, please. Please have the mate in here or in the other one. I'll have to open. Okay, how do you, let me know too. How do you feel about three jewelry jars in a row? Because I really want to dig into this other one. But I'm like, okay, uh, do I really want to do three jars in a row? Would y'all care? I like to spread them out, right? Maybe you don't care. Okay, so here we go. There's this one. I'll sell this. It's got lots of colors. Someone's going to really enjoy that. That's cool. Oh yeah, I'll sell that. Um, it's small. Gosh, how small is that? Oh, it's really small. Um, hmm. I don't know. I mean, probably about twelve bucks, maybe more. Tell me what you think. The more jars, the better. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. Tomorrow I will. That's what I'll do. I will make that a priority. <laughs> okay, so then we've got this peace sign heart necklace and. If it were in immaculate condition, I would sell it, but you can see some of, I don't know if you can see, some of the finish is kind of rubbed off of, up here, so I'll probably give this to my son to, to put in his pile of stuff, but if it wasn't, I would put it in, I would list it, yeah, yeah, okay, good, <laughs> I don't know, okay, good, I was asking about the jars, I, yeah. I don't want to burn anybody out, that's the thing. Oh, uh, all my market's a one-trick pony. All she does is jars. I don't know. I don't know what people think. All right, then we've got these three bangles, which if they were in, again, same thing, the finish is all messed up in there, so I probably won't list those. They'll go in my set and a pile that, yeah. Then, um, what about the chain? Will you keep it? Um, no, I'll let it, unless it was silver, I'll go back. I'll go back. <laughs> I can't do a double header today. I've got to actually pack something in this house today. We've been so, you would think we had plenty of time to pack, but we're so busy all the time. How did you, he did really well. So at the garage sale over the weekend, he, he made about 200 bucks and he took it straight to the bank. <laughs> he did. Oh. Okay. So next up, we've got this, it's a carved piece and it is, I'm trying to see if it's wood or resin. Is that wood or resin? It feels like wood, unless it's a really lightweight resin, because it's really, really lightweight. Um, there's that. It looks like there's some characters in there, and then it's on a necklace that looks like this, which I may try to sell, maybe. Yeah, I'll try to sell that. I don't think it'll go for a ton, but it's cute enough, right? I think. Uh, <laughs> okay, there's that. Go over there. Oh, this looks promising. What are you? Oh, maybe not. Why are you broken? Okay, so here is a bracelet. Maybe the piece that's broken off will be in there. But this, I guess, clasps onto something over here, but it's missing. But I liked it if it wasn't broken. I'm setting it to the side just in case. Let's see. I know. He's, he's blowing me away, my son. Yeah. He really is. Okay, then there's this bangle. And again... I love bangles a lot, but if it's got, you can see it where this, the finish is rubbed off, so that's going to go in the pile to go out. Then, how did, okay, oh, what about the chain? 
Okay, read that. Our jewelry bags are like 50 bucks. I still buy them when they're 50% off. Yeah, yeah. These, this one was expensive. Okay, next is this. It's a ring, like this style of ring. And if it's not missing any stones, I'll sell it. I think it is, though. It's hard to tell. Let me peek. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, it's missing a stone, so I'll put it in with the with the junk. We'll call it the junk pile for my son. I might start doing lots again when I move. We'll see. But for now, I see something else that looks really promising. I'm trying not to dig to it. I'm trying to just pull from the top, but I see something in there I really want to look at. Don't tangle, don't tangle. Come on, man. Okay, carefully trying to detangle these. Hang on. Oh, please. We don't want it to tangle. This is, oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Let me try to figure this thing out. Here's, okay, I'm going to close there. So there's this necklace. It's on this, you know, cord. And then this is the pendant on it. It looks possibly handmade, like that. I don't know, it's funky weird. Maybe I'll try to sell it. It looks like <laughs> somebody at the Renaissance Festival dressing like an elf or something would wear it. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Have you ever come across 15 karat? No, I have not, I have not. So I'll, yeah, I'll try to sell that. I don't know how much or how to, describe it but we'll figure it out then this is a really long black just seed bead necklace super duper duper long oh cool Nini says I bought a bag full of watches for $14 the other day I don't know anything about watches there's a bunch of coins at the bottom nice yeah okay then there's another one gosh these are tangled I'm trying to pull them slowly slowly so we can i don't want a repeat of yesterday's insane detangling drama <laughs> okay uh, okay there's an earring that goes up there we're coming it's coming slowly here we go another one of these would you sell those together or would you just sell them what do you think i don't know i don't know i'll have to think about it i'll have to think about it Okay, we've got some chains there. Okay, uh, what are you? Oh, it's broken, okay. So we have a broken chain here. Where's my magnet? And it is magnetic. There we go. Um, I checked out the chain. So the chain yesterday that had the little solitaire, that was 14 karat gold, yay. And then the pendant was not. Um, so I don't know. And then there were a couple of sterling, I didn't test them, but there were a couple of sterling chains as well. So this is cute. This one is really cute. Okay, like so. One of these styles. I'll sell that. I mean, I think it'll only maybe 12 or 15 bucks right there. That's really pretty though. Um, together as little shipping, yes. Okay, then, oh wait, I got another one up here. Another chain. This one is also broken. But it might be silver. I'm seeing a little. I gotta find out what the name of that is. Okay, so I'm thinking this one is silver. Where's my loop? Because then I'll put this in my silver scrap. I feel like I'm not as funny. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie, I think there's another Debbie. I'm trying to read what that says, but I'm not as good with my left eye. So I don't know why I'm holding it up to my left eye. Uh, nine, this is 925 Mex. Okay. Um, oh, did it take me longer to decontaminate my hands? Oh my gosh, it did. I had to, I had to use um, dish soap because they were so black. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Next up, this one was one I was going to dig to because I thought it looked really cool. So this is the chain, and then here is the pendant. It looks like there's supposed to be something hanging from here, right? 
but you can flip it over and it's white on the other side. That's pretty cool. And it does have a hang tag and the hang tag says made in China. No bonus ears yet. <laughs> We're in luck. They're, all, they're in there. <laughs> so it says made in China on both sides. I'm not sure what to make of that. I don't know what you, what do you, what would you do? Would you go ahead and just sell it like as is, knowing that there's something supposed to be hanging from it? Or just say, meh, whatever. That's weird. I don't know. <laughs> Silver's only 17 an ounce right now. Yeah, we'll just throw it in the bag and wait for better days. Okay, what's your story? This is the mate to this earring. Okay, I, so one of the earrings is missing the center drop. This earring is missing two drops, but it is marked. Let me see what this mark says. Mm. It's got a Q, a Q and a circle. These are really cute. So there's like a copyright type sign and then there's a little Q in a circle. Darn it, if the pieces are in there, I'll fix it. That's an easy fix. Hello, Retro Diva, charm holder. Oh, okay, is that what that is? Okay, okay. All right, next, we've got another one of these. The finish is worn off, so that's going in the pile over there. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. All right, so here's the, the closure on this. It looks pretty clean. That's, that's a positive. And then it's got these really super colorful beads, which I will sell. Um... Again, it's one of those things where it's like, this is not my style at all. But I can see somebody just loving this. You know, it, it would look, probably look good on, because like my skin, mm, it might look good with somebody with more of an olive complexion or a darker skin tone. I guess it wouldn't look so bad with a pale. I, I don't know, it's just not my thing. Okay, but yeah, I think somebody would like this. I'm gonna have to look that up. That's interesting, yeah? That Scream Summer Boho. Oh, cool, okay, good. So I don't, I'm not going to get it listed in time for this summer. I know it. <laughs> then, oh, this is cool. We have a big ring that looks like this. And it is an adjustable ring, but I've sold adjustable rings before, so I won't have a problem. I don't have a problem selling that. Now, whether I have a problem, we'll find out. Um, so, yeah, I'll sell that. It's interesting. It's different. Con concave, wait, concave, convex, right? <laughs> okay, so this looks like a kilt pin. All right, um, I'm trying to think what else that would be used for because I don't know anything else that would do. Saris use pins like this. This looks just like a kilt pin, <laughs> so. Yeah, I'll sell that. And if you know what else it could be, let me know. Because I will label it as a kilt pin. And it looks like old style diaper pins, you know? But yeah. This just looks like I'd like to see the man who's, uh, well, maybe I don't want to see the man whose kilt that came off of. You never know. You never know. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Please don't be missing any stones because you're super cool. Nope, no stones missing. And it is marked, so I'll have to get help. So it looks like a bunch of branches all woven together with some sparkles and flowers. It is not missing any stones. A woolly scarf pin. Okay, cool, cool. So I can add that in my keywords. Now, the, the brand name on this, let me make sure I get it right, is Mimco, M-I-M-C-O. And there's an S off to the side of it. Let me see if I can get you to see in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Can you see in there? Oh, you can see. Mimco. And then there's an S. Okay. So let me know if you have Google. If you have Google handy. <laughs> Mimco branch. That's really cool. Somebody's going to love that. Right? Oh, it's so big on my hand. <laughs> it looks so But some people love big jewelry like that. Oh. Come on, there we go. <laughs> that was worrying. It was almost stuck. Okay, next we've got a sweet little pendant. 
like this, and that's the back, and this is sort of a mother of pearl in there. Is it, I don't think it's silver. It looks like it might be. Hmm, yeah. Hang on, I'm trying to see. It's not magnetic, so I'll have to look it over and see. Like that, cool. You would wear that in a heartbeat, cool. Mary says, I have seen those big pins used to hold up t-shirt sleeves popular in the 80s. Oh, okay, cool. Uh-oh, we got some funk. We got the funk. Gotta have that funk. No, we don't gotta have that funk. I don't know what that funk is. Um, so we're just gonna put that over there. And I'm gonna be really careful digging in now. <laughs> okay, then, <laughs> tell me what you think about this one. We have a dragonfly pin. Would you sell this? I know there are people that collect dragonflies and things. Maybe. I don't know. What do you think? You love oh things. Oh, am I gonna say your name? Edwin. Edwin. Edwinus. Tell me if I'm saying it wrong. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Then, okay, that's a button cover. We'll see if we have more in there. Then we, okay, I'm putting things up to the top that we're holding off. Okay, this was one of the pins that I wanted to get from the jar. It's not missing any stones. They all look bright and shiny. So this is something I know I can sell. Let me see if it's got any marks on the back. No, no marks or maker's marks or anything that I can see. But yeah, that'll be a good seller. That, I mean, I'm guessing about 10 bucks, so that's cool. Um, I sure will sell it to you. I got it at Ikea. You can get your own. They're pretty cheap at Ikea. <laughs> yep. Okay, so here is the other ring, the ring that I was saying I wanted to get from the jar. And it is, it, I don't see a make, uh, silver stamp in it, but it is really, really, really in good shape. So there's no rubbing off of any, I mean, it could be like stainless steel, who knows, but it's really shiny. So, yeah. I mean, this ring, also a bit small. Um, cool, here's that. I don't know what it will sell for. It's very shiny. I feel like it should have a mark, so I keep looking, but it doesn't. Um, Margaret, will you show us how to do pictures? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I have a video on that, too. I can link it here, um, uh, pictures for, of jewelry and stuff, but I do use my phone, so, yeah, I can totally do that. Um, so do you just wear a wig sometimes, Lillian? Nope, this is my hair. I got a kit. <laughs> yes, on the dragon floor. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, there's that. So this one, and it's really weighty. Okay, I will, Rihanna. And if I, I'm sure I'm saying your name wrong, right? Okay, I, I, later. I'll try again. I'll go back and try again. This, this, oh, what? Okay, so what we have here is, well, it's missing some stones. It smells of perfume, <laughs> strongly of perfume. It is, I think, a belt, which was probably, it was probably Penelope's belt. This was my belt that I wore to the cotillion. As you can see, it's only about halfway big enough now because, well, you know how it is. After you come, you know, after you come out, is that what they call it? They don't call it a coming out. Do they? Yeah, they call it coming out, don't they? The debutantes? They're after the coming out, no. What do you call it? It's called coming out, right? Anyway, um, you know, you don't have to watch your figure so much. And so now, there's no way I could wear it. Um, unless it was supposed to be in now. Okay. Uh, this will go to a craft lot because all of those big ginormous rhinestones, come on. <laughs> Aren't they fun? Yeah, yeah, because those are, yeah, amazing. I have all the diamonds. I have you now. Somebody that was stealing the diamonds. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so creative. Where do I get it? I think that just comes to me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Louie, I did have short hair. I did have me rather. I did have long hair yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, 
Penelope, my Sally in his jewelry bag. She's today she's got to go blood. Okay. Okay, next up we have another ring. And this one is this brushed gold color. There's also a mark in the back. Oh, do we ever find out about that other one? Did anybody look that one up? I'll have to go. Uh, I gotta go do my own work. You're kidding. Okay, fine. <laughs> so here's another ring. It doesn't appear to be missing any stones. Is this another Mimco? No, this is Ann Taylor. Okay, so that's an Ann Taylor ring, like that. Um, <laughs> thanks, Lucy. <laughs> and next up, oh, this is it. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it up, and I'm gonna turn it around. It has a maker's mark. It also smells like perfume. Maybe something rubbed off. Okay, what is this maker's mark? It's really ugly, unless that maker's mark says it's couture, and then it's gorgeous, darling. Okay, it's like that. And it just feels yucky, gross, dirty, bad. <laughs> Words, <laughs> words today. It says, I'm trying to get it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Becker Bergani. Becker is the first word. And then Bergani. B I R K A N I. Becker Bergani. Which I have never heard of. Let me see if I can get it to show you. I can't decide if I love it or hate it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Becker Bercani. Okay, so if you have Google open, look that up. Look up Mimco too. <laughs> I'll have to look. It's easier if you look it up now. Otherwise, I'll have to tell you later. Well, you don't have to look it up now. Anyway, you know what I mean. <laughs> so because that way when people are like, how much? How much is that worth? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> this is new for me too. Okay, we have Mimco appears to be international sold jewelry purses. She's well. So thanks, Brenda. <laughs> Putting you to work. Okay, this is one of those jewel, um, purse hangers. You know, you hang it on the side of the, at the restaurant to hang your purse on. I actually kind of need one of those. But this one doesn't stay put. It just, is it supposed to stay put? Is it clipped in there? What's going on here? Is that supposed to clip? What, um, well, this is why you're probably in a jar, because you're not working properly. Okay, yeah, that's going in a lot. Oh, how do you spell the second word? I don't want to break the window today. Bercani. Oh, where did they go? Ah, here it is. Okay. Dur, dur, dur. I think it was B I R K. Where did the thing go? B I R K. There's the tag. It's hidden in there. One more time. Becker Bercani. B. I think it's an I. B I R K A N I. I think, I think it's an I in there. It might be broken, you say. Let's see if I can hold it up where you can read it. I don't know. Okay, next, ooh, I see an Alex and Annie in there. I'm coming to get you, Alex and Annie. Okay, so then we've got a, yeah, that's going over there. <laughs> ah, now we're talking. We can make some money right there. So this is an Alex and Annie that's got St. Christopher's on it, St. Christopher medallion. So there's that. It's got a little bit of wear on the on this part of it. Not too bad though. Pretty good. It's in pretty good shape. Okay, nice little Alex and Annie. Those can go for good money. 2014, it says. Like so. Oh, okay, you can't find anything. And then next, we've got this black and gray, big pearly ball necklace. <laughs> and then, okay, okay. We've got some little pearls. They're broken, but they are also knotted between, shall I? Yeah, they're not real. So that can go over there. I did it. Here's some more just stretchy 
pearly pearls. This can go over there. Um, Michelle says Mimco is Australian. Their prices looked a little high, but I only looked quickly. Hi, hi, going on grumpy. Um, okay, I'll have to just keep looking, I guess. All right, tell me what you think about this one. This is like a bronzy colored bead. And then it's got these. Oh, gosh. This is one of those, like, I really, this is really not my style. But it might really be somebody else's style. This is what gets me, right? It can't just sell what you like. Well, I mean, you can if you want, but. All right, I'll put it over here and see. We'll see. All right, what else do we have in here? I'm putting that up here. I've got a T with an angel. Like so. You Google Michelle Googled Mimco jewelry. Let's see what she came up with. Thank y'all for helping me for real though. <laughs> okay, so here is this one. And these ones look. Um, hang on, let me get my loop. I am looking and thinking. Uh Hmm, I don't have something handy, do I? Um, I'm gonna have to look at these a little closer. They're probably costume jewelry, but the way that they're faceted, I'm just gonna look at them closer. We'll just put it there. Because I did a video not long ago about um, Jet and French Jet and some of these other, and uh, I can see pitting, that's the thing. I just want to see if I see mold marks. I see pitting. I need a piece of paper. I need a piece of paper. I got a piece of cardboard. Does that count? Hang on. Mm, I don't think it's going to work. No. Yeah. Okay. It's just costume jewelry. <laughs> there we go. Um, no problem, quirky girl. Anytime. All right, so this is a bunch of, those are for glasses of wine, right? When you have friends over. They're all tidy and hanging together, so I might try to sell those. We'll see. Um, I can see a working professional wearing that bronze colored necklace for about 18 bucks. Oh, cool. This is nice, too. Okay. This is, there's a Native American artist that makes, one uh, necklaces that are like this. And I can't think of who it is at the moment. Not that I'm saying that this is what this is, but I, I know there are people that like Southwest style that love this type of jewelry. I'm looking, I don't see any marks either, but you can see it's on a nice chain. It's got a, an unusual type of clasp, you know, not one you see all the time. Um, this is really nice. It's not magnetic, so but that doesn't mean anything, isn't it? Yeah, I, I don't know if they're silver or not. I don't see any kind of marks on them. I kind of doubt it, but they're. I'm looking around the hole. I'm looking around the holes to see if I see any rubbing or. Hang on, let me get closer. I'm gonna test them because here's the deal. Here's what I'm noticing. Let me show you. And if you think I'm full of hogwash, let me know. Okay, because this part looks like kind of tarnished. And then the part that's constantly rubbing together, it's rubbing, 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 is not tarnished. So this part's still really shiny. It's not like rubbing off, the like there's a silver coating on there. So there's no silver coating getting rubbed off. But then the other part of the ball you can see is like all tarnished. And this part's shiny, you know? So could it, you know, could they be silver or could they be something else? I'm learning too. So yeah, we'll find out. I'm looking, I'm trying to see if I see anything, any other, anything else that would jump out at me that would say, no, nope, never mind. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. And if you know or have an idea, let me know. Ta-da! I did get a haircut. <laughs> I did. Okay, we've got a few more things in here. 
That's okay. This looks like part of a strawberry. There's a hole in the top, sort of, where it looks like maybe a leaf went, maybe a pendant or a charm, but then that's it. Oh, is the video gone? Oh no, refresh, refresh. We have, uh oh, I'm looking. Can you hear me? I wonder why, that's so strange. Hmm, you can't see me, but you can hear me. Hello, can you hear me? Tell me, tell me if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you, oh yes, you can hear me, I was typing it in. Well, I'll just describe what I'm pulling out. Oh dear, not again. Okay, so next up, <laughs> hi Vicki, you're just in time to hear me. Um, I know what's wrong. <laughs> There's only 22 thumbs up. So we need to go over there and, and click thumbs up some more. It's like Tinkerbell, right? <laughs> it's tink it's like Tinkerbell. You gotta go click the thumbs up to get this uh, to get this video going back again. I have no idea what to do. Zero clue. So uh, there's a cross here. It's a multi metal cross. It is. It has a little. Oh gosh, it says Jane on the back of it. Worst case scenario, if we have to stop, I'll share the rest of it tomorrow because I'll do the other jar tomorrow. Oh no, you can't see or hear me. Oh brother. It's showing your thumb now. That's so weird. Well, hmm. So now, no, you can't hear me now either. So, oh, yeah. Oh, see, you can hear me, okay. <laughs> nice blackmail, yeah, of course. And you're missing the bonus here. I found the bonus here, and you're missing it. <laughs> of all the things to miss. It's on the Trifari necklace. That's really nice. Um, oh, I found the Hope Diamond. Oh my gosh, you guys are totally missing the Hope Diamond. <laughs> um, I, I will have to share the rest of it tomorrow. I'll, I'll keep this to the side, what I have left, and share it uh, with you guys tomorrow. I have a goldstone heart. There's another earring. There's a little locket here. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'll do. I guess I'll, <laughs> I know. you know I'm teasing. There's no Hope Diamond in here. Okay, I'm going to put this part back in the jar, the part you haven't seen yet, and then we'll, we'll, we'll call it, and we'll do it tomorrow. But look, okay, I'm going to go refresh over here. My blackmail didn't work. <laughs> Four thumbs down. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Give it time. We'll have eight by the night. Um, <laughs> I refreshed on my end. Did it refresh for you? No? Oh, dear. No? Nobody? Yeah. Uh, cool guy. What? Okay. I demand a refund. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to set these to the side for my other jar, and I'll share the other jar tomorrow. And yeah, JoJo's in the other room, but goodness only knows. You know, I was gonna, I mean, I keep getting on the fence where I'm gonna keep him and sell him, but then weird, funky stuff like this keeps happening. I don't know what to say. All right, no, no on the refresh. Okay, should we, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of a song for your Alexa to sing for you, and then I'll say bye. Um, how about, oh gosh, I can't even think of a song. I can't even think of a song. Ugh. Alexa, play close to you. And we'll call it that. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Bye everybody. <laughs>